Praise the Lord, everyone. Brother Repair. We're in the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 1. That's right. Start a new chapter. If you look to my your right, just under my book, you see a red line. And it says Paul and Thessalonica. But the, that just separates the context. That means our Apostle Paul was at a different location, different city, uh, different story starting. And that, so just a change of context. So anyway, if you're my subscriber, thank you very much. I'm honored and privileged. If you uh, like these short videos, five to 10 minutes long, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell. So chapter 17, verse one. Now, when they had passed through Amphipolis and Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica, where there was a synagogue of the Jews. Wow, that's, uh, went through a couple of towns to get to a third, and they are both a mouthful. How about that? So let's check it out. Amphipolis, Amphipolis. Everybody knows where Amphipolis is, right? Well, sure. This was, uh, this was the capital of the eastern province of Macedonia. How about that? It was originally a colony of the Athenians. But under the Romans, it was made the capital of that part of Macedonia. It was near Thrace and was situated not far from the mouth of the river Stimon, which flowed around the city. And this uh, occasioned its name, which means around the city. Uh, the distances laid down in the itineraries in regard to these places are as follows. Philippi to Amphilippus, 31 miles. And Philippus to Apollonia, 30 miles. Apollonia to Thessalonica, 37 miles. So, give you a little idea of the distances involved. These distances are evidently such as might have been traversed each in one day. And since nothing is said of any delay on the road, but uh, everything is to imply that the journey was rapid, uh, we conclude, unless the recent sufferings made rapid traveling impossible, that Paul and Silas rested one night in each of these places. And thus our notice of their journey is divided into three parts. The position of Amphilippus is one of the most important in Greece. It stands in a pass which uh, goes through the mountains bordering the Stamonic Gulf, and it commands the only easy communication from the coast of that gulf into the great Macedonian plains, which extend for 60 miles from beyond Malinko to Philippi. The ancient name of the place was Nine Ways, Nine Ways, from the great number of Thracian and Macedonian roads, which meet at this point. So nine roads kind of crossed at that point. The Athenians saw the importance of the position and established a colony there, uh, which they called Amphipolis because the river surrounded it. And Apollonia, this city was situated between Amphipolis and Thessalonica, and it was formerly much celebrated for its trade. So, then uh, they say it came to Thessalonica. This was a seaport on the second part of Macedonia. Uh, it's situated on the head of the Bay Thermicus. It was made the capital of the second division of Macedonia by uh, Emilus Polis, which he divided the country into four districts. It was formerly called Therma, but afterwards received the name of Thessalonica, either from Cassander, in honor of his wife Thessalonica, the daughter of Philip, or in honor of a victory which Philip obtained over the armies of Thessaly. It was inhabited by Greeks, Romans, and Jews. It is now called Solnaki, 
and from its situation must always be in a place of commercial importance. It is situated on the inner bend of the Thermaic Gulf, halfway between Adriatic and the Hills Port, on the sea margin of a vast plain. Watered by several rivers and was evidently des designated for its commercial importance. It has a population of present of uh, probably 100,000, about half of whom are Jews. Uh, they are said to have 36 synagogues, none of them remarkable for their elegance of style. So in this place, a church was collected to which Paul afterwards addressed the two epistles of Thessalonians. Um, there was a synagogue. Uh, so there was a synagogue there. It was remarked by Grotus and Conil that the article here is emphatic and denotes that there was probably no synagogue at Amph Flippolis and Apollonia. This was the reason why they passed through those places without making any delay. So there you go. Gives you a little idea of the distances and what these towns were. Um, and Thippolis was the capital of the eastern part of Macedonia, but it was also an important military city. Uh, the Romans kept a a military base there and other than the Polonia there was not a whole lot going on there it was a little town of little importance um, and of course Thessalonica as I mentioned before was a very important commercial center as it is today so uh, there you go they passed through those towns because it didn't have a synagogue because Paul preached to the Jews first and then went to the Gentiles once they rejected him and so that was his pattern of how he preached. Everybody's got, everybody's got a pattern how they preach or how they do their Christian work. And Paul's pattern, which is well established in the New Testament, is that he would go to the synagogue first, preach there. When they kicked him out, <laughs> they always did. Uh, he went to the Gentiles, uh, usually their marketplace, just preached in the marketplace, street preaching as we call it today. Uh, a little something that... Uh, few people do today is street preaching, preaching but uh, uh, hopefully we should get back into that. But uh, there you go. Any questions, put them down in the comment section. Thank you and God bless you.